Hi guys, this is Jono from the OptiZen app. Can you change the H1 page title on Shopify tag pages? The answer is yes. And the next question should be, why would you want to do that? By default, Shopify doesn't allow the editing of tag pages. Well, it does allow editing, but you need to do it within the liquid code. So there's no simple way to edit the tag pages. Why would you want to edit the tag pages? Tag pages can be very powerful for creating structured silos, sub collections and subcategories within your Shopify store. So for example, if you've got a product uh, or you've got products in a collection for shirts, for example, and you have a number of different colors of those shirts, you can actually create a collection, for example, it may be collections slash shirts slash blue. So you end up with a sub collection of shirts that have all the blue shirts in that sub collection because you've tagged all those products with blue and you can do this at an unlimited scale with Shopify stores and then what you would do is create all the other tag pages with different colors so you'll end up with red and green and yellow and black etc and end up with quite a number of different tag pages or subcategory pages and then you can link them together with html links or within your navigation, within your filters, etc., and you create a nice tight siloed subcategory sub collection for uh, shirt shirts and shirt colors. And this is an incredibly powerful way to provide relevance for your collections um, to Google and the other search engines. Up until now, it hasn't been able to be done uh, easily with Shopify. And we've created an app called OptiZen, where now we can not only edit the H1 page title. So on this page here, for example, you can see that this is a dedicated H1 for this particular product sub collection, but we can also edit the SEO title. We can edit the content above the product grid. We've also got the ability to add content below the product grid if you want. Uh, you can add HTML links, etc. within these. You can add videos, whatever you would like. And all the SEO meta is editable as well. And you can also choose which tag pages you index in the search engine. So because Shopify will create a large number of tags, if you're using a lot of tags, you can choose which tags pages you want to actually index. So you don't end up with a heap of different tag pages indexed in the search engines that are not optimized. And that way we can sculpt the way we want our sub collections to actually index and rank um, in the search engines such as Google, Bing, etc. So it's really simple to use. Uh, just before I do that, if we go back to what Shopify normally does is it will borrow on a tag page, it will borrow the content from the main collection. So if we go back to the main collection here, we can see this is the H1 title here is shop horse boots, ice boots, and then the H1 for the main collection is horse boots all types. So you can see that the H1 title is unique on that tag page that we, we were just on previously. And then we can also edit the SEO title uh, and everything else on the tag pages as well. So they're totally unique. So the way you can do this is using the OptiZen app. Uh, we've got a section for just collections where you can add content below the product grid on collection pages. But the main uh, feature I wanna show you in this video is actually collection with tags. So we'll just go to the collection with tags. Um, for that particular example, if we go back to, doesn't really matter which one we choose, but we'll go back to the ice boots tag page. We can see the tag is ice and the collection is horse boots. So if we search for ice and horse boots, and click search. Here we've got our collection here with our tag. We click on edit. Then we've got our unique SEO title we can add here. We've got our content. Uh, tag description above the product grid. We've got our SEO description here. We've got our H1 title where we can edit. We can add content below the product grid if we like. We can select whether we want to show this content on page one of a page in added series or on all pages. That's totally up to the user. In this example, for example, it has a load more button that doesn't have pagination. Um, and you know, other sites might have infinite scroll, but some sites might have pagination. So you would go, uh, this is page one, and then you click on page two, three, four, and five, etc. So you can choose whether you want that same content on the paginated series, which we generally don't do. Um, 
there's sort of conjecture whether Google even cares that there's the same content on paginated pages because it does understand that they're a series and it doesn't cause any problems from that perspective. And then we have the, the selection where we can actually index the pages also and make sure this particular tag page is indexed in the search engines. And then we just click save and we can also click this link uh, to see the, the page here. So that's how we can edit and optimize tag pages for SEO in Shopify. Really easy to use. Uh, the scalability is unlimited unlimited so you can create as many different tag pages as you want if you go do away go away and do your keyword research and see that you'll find that many times there are quite large search volumes for variations of particular product types so in that example with shirts and colors for example the uh, search volume for a blue shirt um, can be really quite high and uh, with not a lot of you know depending on the type of shirt with not a lot of uh, actual competition so I hope this video makes sense. Uh, any questions, you can leave a comment below or click on the link and that'll take you through to the Optizen app uh, actual uh, website. And also you can uh, check the app out on the Shopify app store. Thanks, I'll talk to you later.